This can be found at the top part of the controller. Select Profile and System. This is the last tab on the top. Select Settings. This will open your Xbox settings. Okay, it's working. Okay. Alright, let's get straight in Perth Glory career mode. <laughs> Alright. There's so many pixels showing on my screen, it's so fucking annoying. I can't get rid of them. Oh shit. I should probably not swear, actually. Yeah, nah. Alright, let's get into it. I'm doing a Perth Glory career mode because I support Perth Glory. And I'll go from Perth Glory to the top, I guess. I started one like ages ago, but um, yeah. Let's just call this the YouTube career mode. YouTube career mode. Because this will be a series where I like, it's like a... Road to Glory career mode type thing like I did last year with Inter Miami. But this way, if I stream the episodes and then a warm welcome to you all. upload them, the then it'll be better. Oh, it's very loud. Your new manager. Also, my name is Sir Don's because Sir Don's. Because my name is Connor Donnelly, so. Yeah. Alright, let's get straight into it. Oh crap, I accepted the wrong one. One viewer, let's go. Alright, so... Also, we ha now have Daniel Sturridge in our team. Ex, uh... Liverpool legend? No, I wouldn't say legend. He was alright for them. Sort of fell off a bit, but yeah. We'll definitely be accommodating to him. Okay, now, first I need to pick a formation that I want to play. This whole career mode in. Um... I'm gonna go the four two 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 because we have Bruno Fornaroli. Let's see. We need to start making some big adjustments to this team. Left back's good. I'm alright with the two centre backs. Uh we have no one in the reserves to speak of, no one at all. Actually you should be up here. Alright, so uh, this will be our strat partnership. We need a, a two cams, two cams, one CDM, a right back, and yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna just list a bunch of these people on the transfer market. Not transfer. Why am I? I'm thinking of FIFA. FIFA. I think it gets ultimate team. Yeah, I'll list them all up for sale. Damn, six messages already. Alright. Uh, introduction, Manchester United top is Benjamin Lawton, one of your scouts. Youth Academy report. Okay, so I should have a really good Youth Academy player. And yes, it's Pavic. I think. That's the really good one we have. 17, and he's only 57 rated. The guy I got in my last career mode was a center mid who was rated, I think. I forgot what it was. It was like 74 off the bat, and I was like, crap. Alright, so, two goalkeepers, three goalkeepers, and two strikers, and this Moroccan guy is probably going to be shit. We got a five-star, five-star guy here. I'm going to promote him to the senior team straight away, and I'm also going to promote this guy, because I could send one of them out on loan for at least like half a season, see how he goes. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm definitely going to chuck that striker on the bench. He won't He won't get straight into my team, which I was kind of hoping he'd be able to. He's 5-star, five 5-star five star with okay stats. Nothing to write home about, really. He's got 82 agility, 75 balance, and 74 ball control. Alright. Okay. I feel bad doing this, but... I have to mention, I will be sticking Keo on the transfer market. He's probably the first player I'm going to list because we have that other guy for a striker super sub now, the Wonder Kid. So, you know. I'm also going to try and invest in some youth stuff. Find new talent for your youth squad. Wait, did I have a. S 
Yeah, I do. Set up a scouting network and I'll just do it in Australia. And hopefully he brings me back some good scout, good uh, young players. The first thing I always like to do is look at the squad hub and see who I would be willing to put on the chopping block. Alright, so... Cook, Cameron Cook can go. Jack Clisby. We don't really have another left back option. So I'm just going to stick him on. Even though we only have two left backs. I'm pretty sure I can chuck a centre back at left back if I need. Um, Out of the centre backs we have. I'll get rid of Bodnar. I'll keep Lockman and Asper. These three. And I'll get rid of. Malik because he's one of the higher rated ones so you can get some money for him. Rawlins is our only right back. Oh we have this guy Burke Gilroy but I'll get rid of Rawlins so I can buy a right back and yeah. Um, let's see we got Timmons all these guys. I'm not going to be using right mids in my team so just straight onto the market for all these guys. Sardinero he can go straight on as well. Havage, I'm keeping. You can go. And you can go. I think there was more players here that I wanted to list. Uh, I need some midfield options though. These are like the only guys I have. Timmins and Oxbro. I'll get rid of Oxbro and I'll maybe keep Timmins. Just as an option. One of these two's got to go. Get rid of Armiento. Because... Yeah, Steins is high rated. Alright. Now let's go look at what we have here. So far we've just got... We need... For our instructions, we need two cams. Attacking midfielders. Two attacking mids that can get straight into our team. And I'd rather their contracts... I'm going to put it there. Here we get need a right back first team quality and you can usually find some good free agent right back so I'll do that and who else did what else did we need midfielders just central midfielders all right central mid first team quality and do that all right well straight away I'm gonna sim right past I'm going to just sim like weekly or sim here first. This is going to be the boring part, waiting for the sims to go. Oh, it's actually going pretty fast. I respect that, I respect that. Neutral friendly, let's see if we win it. Probably won't. Okay, we do. Well, let's see if we've got any offers. We'll have a bunch of notification. We don't. Oh, it's just these guys saying, I'm surprised you put me on the market, boss. Uh, I'm just going to reply to all these guys. I'm not going to keep many of them, so... You know. The w the worst one is probably... Really happy to be... I wanted you to welcome. Uh, okay. So I'm just hoping Pavic will grow. Like, I really need him to grow in overall. Because he's, he's like a player I'd try to take with me. Along, along the way. Along the journey. Alright, so a 2 0 win over Mumbai City. Will we get an offer yet for anyone? Don't forget to use substitutes. I hate to how that's a notification. Alright, it's loading. Don't know why. Oh, crap. Why did it. Okay, it kicked me out of the career mode. Oh well. Ah, oh, please don't take me back to the start so I have to do all that again. Please don't. Ugh. I'm just going to skip and I'm just going to go back. Oh, do I have to do all that again? Wait a minute. Why did it just let me leave before without doing anything? Alright, let's just quickly do all that again. Uh, I wanted the 4222. Just leave that for now. I guess I'm just going to start it from here, actually. So, I've done everything. I did a bunch of stuff already, but the game screwed me over and just 
yeah, shat on me a bit. So, yeah, we're doing a Path of Glory career mode. No, not the youth stuff. Well, I'll set you up anyway. Let's just be quick about all this. I want to get it all done quickly so I can get it into other stuff. Let's see, uh, Youth Academy. So we still got the exact same players. We'll promote you and you. Leave the rest of them in there because they probably won't grow on overall. And let's just get into the squad hub and see who we can put on the chopping block. I don't remember who it was. Liam Reddy will never go on it. I love Liam Reddy. Cook. Clisby. No, but I think these guys. This guy starts. Keep those ones and get rid of the rest of them. Bodnar, Malik, and Walsh. Get rid of Raw. Oh my god. This is starting to get annoying. Rawlins, you can I can add. Get rid of Armiento. Get rid of I'll keep Timmons. Get rid of Oxbro. Get rid of Collie. And you. Get rid of Ah, oh, come on. This is getting annoying. I accidentally backed out of the career mode and it I loaded into the wrong save one, but I just gonna go from here, so and add you. So they're all added. It's good. Now let's go to what I need set up here. The global transfer market. They're all any position right now, but we need a central midfielder with first team quality and I'll go to once and we'll go because we need two attacking mids that both have first team quality about them right and then we'll get a right back that's first team quality and that's about to have their contract expire or free agent All right, now let's get simming I'm just going to sim through the whole preseason hopefully I don't miss any offers I'll stop actually right here Oh no, I skipped the preseason on this by accident. Crap. Oh well. So, we won't have much money to work with. But, I think we'll do. I think we'll make do. Alright. I will try to stream every few days with this career mode. Um, oh, we've had it. Clisby sold? What? Oh, the release clause. Okay. We're going to not be getting rid of Daniel Sturridge. He's like our main player. Actually, I'm going to block offers for him. Collie. He's going to delegate all these. Malik. Delegate. Cook. Delegate. Armiento. Delegate. And Daniel Walsh. Delegate. Alright. Hopefully we can make some money off all those guys. No one even said anything to me about me putting them on the market lol. Alright, let's see what we've got in transfers now. So. We do have some attacking midfielders. Hey, these are central mids, sorry. I'm gonna... Put them all in the hub. And scout them to... Um, Alright, let's do that so far for those ones. Then for attacking mids, I'm already scouting some. We'll scout you. Oh no, no we won't scout you, you don't look that good actually. Alright, so we'll scout. like bugged out it I don't know what it is it's new it's new and it's just sh so shit it's a series X controller and it keeps disconnecting and then reconnecting I need to go take it to the shop and see what's wrong with it all right let's just 
sim a few more days in. I try to make these videos not longer than an hour. So for right now we're at 15, or at 5 minutes, because I'll cut the first half of it. Or the first like 10 minutes. Alright, so we've got two sale agreements, that's perfect. I'll accept that for watch. I'm not even going to bother about, you know, getting so much off these guys, because a lot of these guys are at the end of their contracts. Sorry if I'm selling your favourite player, I just want to do enough to survive in this. Ooh, I will... I'll scout that guy. I like finding free agents. That's what I want more of. Because it means that I don't have to pay any money for them. Alright. I wonder if we've had any more full updates. So all these guys. Do you. Yeah, he's got a lot of good stats on him. Mainly seeing if we can find a right back, can we? Not really. Philip Hutter. He doesn't look that great compared to these two. Lewis Fenton looks the best. Let's go see what attacking mids have been added. He's not that good. Alright, let's sim some more. The thing I hate about simming is that the overalls will just start dropping. Like, I feel like Bruno, like Fornaroli, will drop before the season starts and someone else will as well. I can't sim too far because we have, probably have some sale agreements. Yeah, we do. And we have a bunch of scouting reports. Okay, we have a lot. Alright. Let's see. What are sale agreements? We have all four of them. Let's accept that. Oh, I nearly accepted that. Reject that. And we are not accepting anything for Bruno. Collie? I'll take whatever I can for him. And Armiento. That's a lot of money. So I'll take it. And now, let's see. What scouting reports we have. Who's good and who's crap. Detailed info. Mm. Alright, so this right back is 65 rated with... I can probably get him for 850. Team. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, Lewis Fenton, not great. Max Burgess, okay. This guy's good though. Connor Metz. Metcalf, he'll grow, and I'll just, uh, let's just wait a bit longer to see some of the other scout reports, before I make a move on anyone, so uh, we're trying to fill four positions here, four positions to try and crack and win the league in our first, be a difficult task, but you know, I feel like we're up to it, some more scout reports, no, three people have sold, some more scout reports are in. Okay, he's he's bad. No point spending anything on him. James Troisi, thirty-five year old, thirty-three year old Cam, not interested. He's sixty-five overall is not that great. Ebner. Okay, this guy looks alright. Sixty-seven rated. Um, right, let's have a look if we can scout some more players. I feel like we'll have, we'll have had some updates. Two updates. Oh, there's a lot here, actually. Mm -hmm. You. Not a lot of green stats anywhere. Oh, this guy's got a lot of them, actually. Alexander Grunwald. Oh, we'll definitely be looking at him. Alright. Next are the cams. We've had one update, apparently. Philip Palmer. Mm. 
not a lot about him. And in the right back spot, do we have any updates? We have a few. Okay. Have a look at Hoffman. Wait, oh, it shows me Hoffman's price. Los Ventons, Philip Hutter, no. Nico. Nico Kerwin. Right, let's start simming. This control is really going to annoy me, actually. I need it. I'm confused as to why my brain. Well, the new Series X controller is doing this. It's like flashing in and flashing out and flashing. Again, so if I, if I cut out, I'm just gonna just keep rolling on with it. Bozanich for 800k, 66 rate is not too bad. And he has, I thought he had good stats about him, but not really. Let's just go to our transfer hub right now and see who we can get. We got a lot of people in here. At least these are still to be scouted. Okay, I think the first person we can get rid of is you. That Metcalf would probably be the best option for CDM. And this Israeli guy for Cam. Don't want you anymore. I'm gonna wait to see what what it says about these guys. Oh, Alexander Grunwald hasn't come in yet. I thought he had. I was looking at the wrong person. Right. Do 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 do. All right. Let's see. Have we got any more reports? Youth squad monthly report. Monthly scouting report. Actually, we'll look at this first. Owen Bray. Doesn't look great. Ping me off. Alexander Grunwald. Ooh. Wait, Noah Ikio. I'm looking at this guy, look at that acceleration and sprint speed. He could be a real good player. Nico Kerwin. Going 64 rated right back. Let's see. Who else are we going to just gonna probably do all my signings on deadline day just to see how we go. Um, Alright, let's just look at the hub. So right now, we need someone to replace Steins, Timmins. Sardinero is okay, but he's not a not. That's not his pos like natural position. The Calva, I'll have in over Asperaminitas, or whatever his name is. Okay, we really need to sign some players. So we need a right back, a CDM, and two cams. So let's go look first at the CDM that was there. It's either going to be Metcalf, or Metcalf is 66 rated. Ebna is 67 rated. Grunwald is 67 rated too. And he's the cheapest. I think I'm going to just go for Grunwald. Yeah. Sign so the Austrian. The Austrian legend. Alexander Grunwald. He'll probably drop, but it's alright. I'm going to offer... I'm going to offer like 9.30... Okay, they're accepting that straight away. Every offer here counts. That's the thing. Everything here counts. Any little bit of money we save, like right now, counts. 
Of course, you, you'll be a crucial starter. One year contract, perfect. Let's disregard that release clause. I hate when they leave it to me. Would you be fine with 10 grand? Come on. That's a reasonable offer. Awesome. So now we have our new CDM. That means we don't need Metcalf. And now we just need to look at, let's look at these cams. Ebner, no, we don't need you anymore. All right. Bosnich can play cam. Um, I'm probably gonna get Peretz like straight up. Yeah, definitely gonna get Peretz to play in that cam position. He's 1.7. Is this contract expiring? I might be like stupid in doing this. They want 1750. I'll take it down to 167. That's the. Alright, let's go. We'll get his wage sorted. The Israeli. Making a bit of an international team here, to be honest. Just gonna put him in crucial because this is what it'll be. Three year deal. Accept. No release calls. Accept. 3.8k. That's fine by me. Alright. Wonder if I'd be able to sign Aaron Moy. I just thought of him. And I'd really like him. Would he be willing to draw? Oh, his release clause is 19.2 mil. Is he, would he really be that expensive for the Australian Iniesta? Words when I start off with like teams that are a bit higher rated than this, so. I'm not going to go for him right now. I feel like Burgess is the option here that we should pick. Or maybe even some updates. If you guys could just see, it disconnects maybe every two minutes. And it's Have we found any more? Mm, on the face of it, these guys, none of these guys look great. Uh, I'm just going to probably go for Max Burgess. It's better than what we had. Um, so we can replace Timmins with Grunwald, so that's a decent signing. And Peretz. Alright. O'Neill, gonna go for that guy, and then probably one more, and yeah, alright, maybe get Noah Ochio, I'll pick a right back first, we have Lager, you can also play CDM, that's good to know, Kerwin, who's, looks okay, Hoffman, mm. gonna go for Lager, yeah. Wait, can this play? Go play Cam. He's got some good stats. I'm gonna go for Bozinich actually, instead of Burgess because he's higher rated, and he's oh he is 32 though. Well, first I'm just gonna get Lager. Nope, I do not want to spend that much on a player who's about to be a contract. Will they take 800 for him? We do want to get rid of Sardin Arrow, actually. We'll just make it, we just give us, we'll just do a straight swap. 
They really want money out of this, don't they? Look, you can have 20k. 58k. They're about the... St the oh no, Sardin area is a bit under, actually. We'll do 45. No, we'll just, we'll just accept that, because we're getting rid of a player and we're barely spending anything. Right, let's get Lager in. On you Austrian right back. Who we basically just got for free. Important, mate. You're going to be starting every game. Don't really care about the contract. Disregard the release clause. And for wage, I'm going to offer him seven grand. I feel like we could just splash out on a cam here. I'm just going to do some research quickly. And s see what cheap cams there are. FIFA 22 career mode. This midfield is to sign for cheap. I hope. Lewis Ferguson. Fabio Carvalho. Oh, that's an interesting name. It says 2.6 million. So I'm going to have a look at him. He'll probably be higher rated than the rest of them. Fabio Carvalho, 18 year old Cam from Fulham. Traffic's expiring. We can get him for cheap. If he'd want to come to us. Oh, he's in the championship. Surely he'd come to Australia. Surely. Crap. I'm going to offer under. Like a lot under. Okay. I don't know how, what rating he is. But I'm just going to go for like 2.2 .2 mil to start. Two point five and uh, that's not gonna work really. So he said yes to two point three five. Negotiate this. Surely he doesn't want a lot of money. I don't know how much he's being paid. It's probably more than four K a week. He would be crucial. Contract length five months. No release clause, except, let's talk about his salary, what can we give him, 7.209, please take that, that's a reasonable offer, okay, so we've signed everyone we can sign, we don't need any of these guys anymore, uh, we don't even need Noah Eho, I only wanted to look at him because he had a lot of pace, but let's see the squad. Okay, so now we have... Why isn't he showing up? Carvalho, 67 rated. And he's got a lot of potential, so he will go booming up. And Jaeger. Okay, that... I'm happy with that team. That looks like a very good team. For the A-League, anyway. Alright. Let's go straight into, let's do some, let's sim now, up into like the first, the first game, and let's sim it, and we'll see how we do, and if we need to work on anything. Oh. I'm actually pretty happy with that Fabio Carvalho signing. <laughs> I reckon he'll be pretty good actually. So, he had like 70 odd pace, so for a cam that's pretty decent. Pretty damn decent.
sooner or later we'll be playing Champions League football. So, let's go. Alright, when you're at the end of August, when you're simming like a lot like this, it does take a while. And I guess if you're simming in a video, yeah. I guess I could just skip this sim part for the video. But already halfway through September. Wait, do we st we start in October, don't we? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we do. I forget how late the A-League starts. I don't know why it starts so late. Maybe because we don't play as many games. Okay, so the first A-League game away to uh, Wellington Phoenix. See, Bruno Fonaroli and Sturridge have already dropped off a rating. Okay, that run seems alright. Let's jump straight in. 3-1 win. Sturridge hat-trick? Sturridge with a hat-trick. He will be a cheat code, actually. It's f it is insane that Perth Glory were able to get him in real life. It's really the only reason we're doing so well. Right, let's go. I'm a sim. I'm a sim a few games. Um, I'm gonna play. I'll play against MacArthur. And then I'll probably sim 2, play 1, sim 2, play 1. So I'll try to play... I'll probably put just play this one. And this up. Oh, yeah, we're definitely playing and not going to be simming a lot of games if that's the result against the Newcastle Jets. Mm. And they're not even that great of a team either. I don't know what it is. Okay. Bodner sold. I don't even know who Bodner was. I don't think he was a starter. No, the team's not changed at all. Right, let's get in. First game of the season in Hartha FC. Playing professional, and if it is too easy, I'll move it up to world class. But the career mode sim, the this fever is crazy. Oof! Oh, yellow timed it. Oh. Well. First game of the season. Just gonna skip through all that and get straight in. Alright. It's really annoying because the H my HDMI cord that's going into my monitor it might be like, it must be pushed out a bit or something because. My controller is literally on life support on life support I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I don't stream with this controller next time it's already pissing me off all right let's see the run Perez Perez in oh good save keeps a mixer oof Lockman get there Lockman no oh no they're in oh no they're not Oh crap. Ooh. All right, let's go. Oh, Sturridge, come on. See, I thought Sturridge, when I first played with Perth Glory, I was like, oh, Sturridge will feel great, but he still feels like crap. Just less crap than everyone else. Oof. Oof set over the bar. Alright. Come on, Ota. Set up to Pretz. Pretz into Sturridge. Sturridge. I think that's a foul.
controller. It's been the space of like two seconds and it's done this twice now. Oof. Luckily I keep as I'm doing a bit of a mess and look Skips past one. Plays it into Fornaroli. He's looking for the return pass. That's happened like twice in like three. That's like fucking ten seconds in real life. Oh, we got a player down there. Don't know what he's doing. Sturridge. Sturridge. Don't know what it is. He feels really bad. Maybe it's just me. Alright. Arita. <laughs> Puts that into Grudwald. I'll have to remember, try to remember this team. The team name. Like the names of the players and stuff. Oh, come on, ref. It's a blatant foul. Come on, Fornaroli. Playing that through. I'm going to look for that run. For Peretz. Peretz. Oh! Who's oh, off the bar? Who was that? I think that was Fornaroli. Or maybe it was a midfielder running in. But now they got a, they got a break. they got a break. Come on, defend. Just defend, just defend, just defend. Easy. Easy business. Grud out to Grudwald, out to Peretz. Oh, crap. Had a... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oofs. Carvalho. Fornaroli. Sturridge. He's looking for that run, Carvalho. He's made it. Cross into the box. Oh... I could have been like, Fornaroli was a dummy for Peretz, but Peretz also missed. Alright, Calva coming back. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Big header out. Out to Grudwald. Out to Peretz. Peretz. Running down into space. Passing it through to Grudwald. Grudwald feeding it. Sturridge not being able to get past his man. Oop, Oda went sliding in there. And so did... I think that's... I don't remember his name. Lockman wins it. Fornaroli gets it. Fornaroli can't really take it forward that far because he's so slow. They've really done him dirty on this game. He's actually such a warrior in real life for us. He's like the only reason we were winning games last season. I'm so mad that Castro has left the club because I, I would have loved to use him again this year. Alright, out to Peretz. Peretz up the field. Peretz. Into space. Fornarelli turns, oh, shoots and misses. We've had chances, but they've just all gone begging already. Oh, don't know what's just happened. My... Wait, my monitor is screwing up. Okay, it's back. Everything techno technologically wise for me right now is not doing well. Alright, start of the second half. Let's hope we see some improvement. Oh, crap. Good turns from Fornarelli. Through to Grudwald. Oh, Grudwald's just too slow. Is that Grudwald? No. I don't know if it is. I can't see the names because there's a bar that's showing my stream in the bottom right. Um... Weird sounds happening there for some reason. Oh, that could have been floated. That could have just gone straight in. 
Alright. Out to Jaeger. Jaeger from Rainbow. Into Fornaroli. Come on, Carvalho. I need you to make that run, and I need me to not just run into a defender and lose the ball. Oh, Lockman's just been turned. Jaeger collects. Out to Carvalho. Carvalho is making that run. Carvalho is in. He's in. He's in. Turns. Stops. In his path. There's shooting room there. Oh. That's unlucky. Yeah. Grunwald will not be coming off. He's our best midfielder. Or one up. Yeah, let's. Let's just make sure we don't concede. As long as we get the three points here. We'll be fine. That's all it is every game. Not looking to score a million goals. As long as we get the three points. We'll be fine. And. You know, it just doesn't help that we're doing stuff like that. Good collect keeps. But yeah, as I said before, the reason I'm keeping Liam ready is if this keeper starts to, you know, piss me off, I know I can trust Liam. I know I can trust him. Back um, a few years ago, when we had just won the league, Perth Glory, we were in the, we do like a round robin playoff sort of final thing at the end, and in the playoffs, I think we were, it was like, we were drawing it extra time, I think it was 3-3, or it might have been, I don't remember the score, but Liam Reddy like clutched up while I was, like we were all there watching him, and he saved like two or three penalties, it was, it was pretty awesome. Carvalho's in, <sighs> blocked by the defender. I think I might have to, I must sub off Fornaroli at the 70th minute mark for that new kid. Let's just see what they do with this. Running down all the way to the byline. Or skipping past me. Oh. Alright. Making some changes. Maybe this formation's not it. I don't know. Alright, Fornaroli is coming off for Pavic. He's getting his first start for the club. And I'll keep Carvalho. Don't know if I want to make any changes in midfield. No, I'll keep it like that for now. Hopefully the new kid, Pavic, can do something for us. They also made a sub. Vaughn really won't be happy that he's come off in his first game. But the main man of the club right now is Sturridge. So he, I couldn't really start sub him off. Alright, come on, let's defend this. Over the top, header out. We are really not in, our game, in playing a good game right now. Come on. Cavalier, make a run, please. Bomb, bombing forward. Turning. Oh, come on. I see you. A cross goal. Oh, I just gotta remember these, these guys have bad shooting. I don't know if that was Sturridge or not though. Yes it was! Yeah, but a lot of people wouldn't finish from there so let alone Sturridge. Alright. Look. I won't be angry if we walk away with a draw here but I will be disappointed because we've had the chances they've just all gone wide. Okay they're searching for a late winner here too. Oh no. They might get it. Alright let's just Keeps. Oh, why couldn't you just grab that with both your hands? So I'm going to sub off Grunwald, our CDM, our defensive midfielder for a... I don't even know. Daniel De Silva. Right. Let's defend this set piece. Not really defending it. Our keeper just pushes everything away. Another corner for them. We just got to get a break here and then we'll be fine. Oof. Come on. Oh, he's kept that in, but it's gone straight to the opposition. Did you head on that? All good. Out wide. Bombing up his Carvalho. Come on, Sarge. Get in front, like ever, bro. Do you e will you ever get in front? He's on the ground. Sarge, we need you. Or do we? 
Oh, do we? A winner. A winner from Grunwald on his first... Oh, no, wait, it's his third appearance. I, this is the first game I've played with him. S comes up from the back. Scores the winner. Peach of a shot. Peach of a shot. And it's no more that I think we've deserved in this game. We deserve to have conceded, but we also deserve to have scored. Now the opposition doesn't know what to do. Now just defend. Just defend. Those gaps shouldn't be left open, Jaeger. Get up there, Lockman. Just hold. Play now. Over the top. You can get there, Carvalho. You can get there ahead of him. You can get there. Ah, that's unlucky. Still, though, we should have the three points in the bag. Yeah, that's easy points. Let's go. First win of the season. And that's probably, this will probably be where I finish the episode. So, you know, let's see the stats. Oh, uh, it was pretty evenly matched. The expected goal stats here. We had more expected goals than them. So we should have won. That expected goals thing is just rubbish. Carvalho with, I think, man of the match there. Oh, no, he just showed his rating, which is a 7.3. All right. Well, let's just have a look at the league table before we end the stream and this episode here. I'll probably try to get it uploaded on the YouTube tonight. So we are top... No, we're second right now. But there's... We've still got two teams to play who will that who could go ahead of us. But where were MacArthur? So MacArthur hadn't won a game yet. Okay. Well, that is where I will love and leave you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode.